Bismillah Rahman Rahim. Welcome back once again. According to the agenda, step 5, part C1, just two marks focused on exhibit 2. That's about the additional purchase of 18%. So we have, we have already concluded with part B that Grin should be accounted for uh, as subsidy in the books of Chuckle. So now, what's the requirement? Explain briefly how additional purchase of 18% equity in Grin Company should be accounted for in, in CSFP of parent, that's Chuckle Company. That's a requirement. Number one, even two marks question. You must have to make a good plan. Number one, stick with the time management. You have five minutes. The rule is 20% for planning, reading, understanding, and compose all the things. That's what sh should be the uh, answer, right answer, and execution time 80%. What I personally suggest that you can save your time with this type of question. It's very easy. If uh, allo allocated time is five minutes, you can uh, come. What I personally think you can complete by three or three and a half minutes. So one or two minutes, if you can save here, that that uh, will be very valuable for you because some other part of the questions or some other part of the exam paper requires more time so sometimes uh, you will be able to save the time be careful even it's a simple question have you read the requirement very carefully what's the requirement how additional purchase of 18 percent that means this is some step acquisition step acquisition point how additional purchase of 18 percent and grin should be accounted for in CSFP. So that's the point. Here the game about step acquisition adjustment. And focus with this exhibit, exhibit two. So recall your studies. Whenever parent start acquisition accounting, that's called calculation of the goodwill. So the first, the very important thing, the cost of investment, cost of investment must be at fair value at the date of acquisition. So here with a step, third, the latest 18%, the second year, the latest 18%, already at fair value at the date of acquisition, that is 1st April X6. But the original 13%, 30%, original 30 percent that was invested by two uh, that was invested two years ago if that invest if that 30 percent investment not yet accounted for according to the fair value which of course not at fair value so the company must have to make a fair value adjustment so previous 30 percent investment must have to adjust with its fair value and make an adjustment called step acquisition adjustment. So this is your studies, huh? this is uh, what the regular studies part. So the point is that, the second rule, that's mind mapping. Here, the knowledge and application required number one, reference for step acquisition no control to control first just put the uh, knowledge about the step acquisition number two acquisition accounting is start by calculating goodwill you have to mention it and you have to men also have to write the previous 30 percent investment need to remeasure and that is all about two marks now refer the suggested solution quickly very simple this is what about the suggested solution number one here you will mention the additional purchase of 18 percent 18 percent equity would constitute 
a piecemeal or step act position. That is no control to control here. Goodwill will be calculated as the amount by which fair value of consideration exceeds the fair value of identifiable assets on the acquisition. This is a goodwill. Chuckle must therefore remeasure its previous 30% equity interest in grid at its acquisition fair value and recognize the resulting gain and loss in consolidated PNL and retained earnings as well. Do remember this adjustment you need to consider with last part by uh, correction of error with respect to correction of error or uh, this is so called the missing figures. So goodwill will be calculated by including both fair value of previously held equity interest. Once again, goodwill will be calculated with the cost of investment by including fair value of previously held equity interest and the fair value of additional consideration. This is good enough for two marks. Good enough for two marks. But I have incorporated the reference of tutorial notes by Kaplan. And this is actually the reference of your syllabus area. Whenever, <clears throat> whenever the accounting shifts from associate to subsidy, then the wording of the accounting standard is that in the group accounts, you must assume that or treat a step acquisition that's achieved control as if the group has assumed that sold the 30%, sold the original 30% and bought back the entire 48% in one go at the point control is achieved. So we will assume that sold, assume it's only the assumption, assume 30% we have sold and entirely 48% acquired. That's why we are actually making fair value adjustment of original 30%. This means 30% revalued at fair value and in this case the gain or loss taken to PNL and goodwill is calculated as if the entire 48% was purchased in one go. Consideration will include the amount paid for 18% and the newly revalued fair value of 30%. So that's a point. So that's all about this part of video. Here it's no particular examiner report inside. So that's all. It's a very simple aspect. There's no uh, complaint by the examiner as well. So thank you very much about this part of the video. Wait for the next video. Jazakallah khair. Assalamu alaikum.